Did you go to school here too? Fred went to school here. Can't get away from him. <laughs> when did you go to school here? Oh, from, uh, let's see, my last year, I guess, was 37. Wow, you probably <laughs> you knew that Andrew's you girls, they Oxford were ahead of you. We're going to have everybody Mad that's in school here wants to hold a reunion. Well, <laughs> if you went to school at Valley Hill, Rev raise your hand. The principal, yeah. Yeah. My Sam, mother, raise your hand. My mother was her student when she talked to her. He's too busy talking. Well, so I, was, I, was you to I went to school here, too. We've got quite a few people that went to school here. Sam, Edney. Edney. Yeah. 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 Can the ball. Yeah. He's, I'm going to get <laughs> <laughs> If I could have your attention, Jerry King. In the early 1900s, a three-room school named Valley Hill was built on the Ficker property. But I don't think that was this property. Because Sam's ancestor, Lindsay Anders, gave the land for this school. So, Terry, I'm not quite sure how that works. I want to talk to you about that and see because I because Lindsay Baker Anders gave the land for this particular school Elbert so Lindsay. I'm not Elbert, Elbert Lindsay, Lindsay. Yeah. so I'm not sure where the three room school where the Ficker property was in relation to the Anders property so we need to check that out but uh, the building grew to five rooms by 1919 by 1928 Valley Hill was a union school serving grades one through high school <laughs> High school students from the Pleasant Hill School, which we're going to talk about later, began attending Valley Hill. In 1934, the high school at Valley Hill closed and high school students began attending Flat Rock High School. In 1938, the Pleasant Hill School closed and those elementary school students began attending this school. In 1960, high school students from the Valley Hill community and the old Pleasant Hill community began attending East Henderson High School and junior high students attended Flat Rock Junior High, which later became Flat Rock Middle School. In 1983, 1983, this school closed when the new Atkinson Elementary School was built on Old Canuga Road. And we will be passing Atkinson Elementary School today. Since that time, this school has been pretty much abandoned except for a period when the Pathway Christian Academy, a private school, used it for several years, but they closed in 2007. So the building now stands abandoned. Um, and just for now, when we leave, we're going to be going to the right out that way, so we're going to circle this way, go out and turn right, right there where some of you are parked. You'll see some of the athletic fields on the right as we do that. And as we go down the street, you'll see Valley Hill Baptist Church on the left. But that Valley Hill Baptist Church is a 20th century church. It's not that old. The other thing that I wanted to point out to you is this uh, marker down here for one of the earliest principals and teachers at this school. And uh, she was here for many, many years, Miss Redden. And she was the mother of uh, Monroe Redden, who served in Congress in the 1950s from Henderson County. So, his last year here was uh, Mr. Fred Jones's last year here was in 1937. <laughs> and so we've got quite a few people that have attended this school from the Valley Hill and Pleasant Hill community. I think to show you how things have changed in schools, this drive did not used to be here. This was all brass. And we had a May Day celebration out here. Every May Day, we would wind the Maypole down here, and they would select one person out of the seventh grade to be the announcer. And I got that honor and got to come out that door dressed as Davy Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing that's so strange today would never happen today. As soon as I stepped out on the grass, I fired a 12-gauge shot. <laughs> 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 You'd be in federal prison today. <laughs> I got the only paddling, only paddling I ever got in school. I got right inside there. <laughs> Mrs. Redden 
bend my hand down like that and paddled me or the we're talking in school. Well, I wrote, I wrote the Gettysburg Address five times instead of five licks because I'd already had five licks and I didn't want any more. My mother's age would be right about 100 Were the windows? Were the were the windows? So they're huge. Uh, or were they casement windows? The windows here seem huge. Were they casement windows? Yeah, they were back. That's one of my favorite memories. The old wooden door. And she had a spread that. Uh, and uh, right you pass. The maintenance guy here in those days. Uh, Jack, and just turned down a little ground. And if you got to be his baby, you know. Wow. <laughs> and uh, the rumor was that all the kids, among all the kids, was that he was a former train engineer. And that was a big deal to us. I think it was more because of the hat he wore than the yeah. basis in reality. He wore one of those old striped yeah. engineers. Yeah. Anyway, I think the Henderson County School System still owns this property. And I don't know what they're going to do with it. So you guys are more than willing to give input to the school board. <laughs> but I don't know what they're going to do with this property. I guess this tree, this tree's been there forever, right? Oh, well, look at the other one, too. Oh, yeah, these yeah trees. it's a very large tree. Yeah. And be sure and look at the monument down here if any of you want to take a picture of Miss Redden's monument down here. And then we'll be going out. What is the definition of a union? What is a union? It means it was first grade through high school. You went first grade all the way through high school. That's a union school. Excellent question. <laughs> Yeah, the blue bird for women and the hot shot for men. Well, Mr. Jackson always ate breakfast there the whole time I worked. He was alive